Hello friends, welcome to Live Traveling. Today, we'll see Tulum, Mexico Complete Travel Guide Things to Do Tulum, Mexico on the Mayan Riviera. Tulum is a coastal resort that has become fashionable over the last decade for its laid-back atmosphere and new-age crowd. Some of Tulum's allure comes from its long and wide beaches, peppered with beach clubs and cabana lodgings, where servers bring everything you could want to your hammock or sun lounge or the Mayan Riviera is chiseled with something called cenotes, derived from the Mayan for sacred well. These are springs, caves and underground rivers only found in this part of Mexico. Some have been adapted into eco-parks with a big menu of activities like ziplining, snorkeling and cycling, while others are less developed and the preserve of expert cave divers. But the very first thing you need to see in Tulum is the namesake Mayan city, hoisted on a cliff top and guarded by walls. 1. Tulum Ruins Among the last of the Mayan cities, the port of Tulum had its heyday between the 1200s and the 1400s and is unique in that it survived for a few decades after the Spanish had taken control of the region. These ruins need to be top of your agenda when you come to Tulum, as they're some of the most intact Mayan remains on the Yucatan Peninsula, also standing out because of their defensive wall. This barrier is up to 5 meters high and punctuated by gates, while cliffs form a natural barrier to the east. Alongside that mighty wall, the Temple of the Frescoes is one of the must-sees, with haunting paintings on its interior walls and figurines of the diving god in niches on its facade. 2. Sion Khan A UNESCO World Heritage Site and Biosphere Reserve, Sion Khan means origin of the sky in the Mayan language. It's a region of mangrove, tropical forest, marshes and lagoons trapped by a barrier reef. Sion Khan is valued for its ruins, with more than 20 identified archaeological sites, but also has vibrant biodiversity, inhabited by pumas, jaguars, crocodiles, ocelots, margays, iguanas, howler monkeys, tapirs and rich birdlife, from pelicans to Amazon parrots. On a guided tour you'll take an off-road drive through the forest and ride out onto the lagoon where you might catch sight of dolphins, turtles, manatees and crocodiles and will have the chance to snorkel in safe waters. 3. Sistema Sac Acton Only discovered in 1987, the Sistema Sac Acton could be the largest surveyed underwater cave system in the world. When you combine its dry and underwater tunnels, the system adds up to more than 346 kilometers. Of course, you'll only witness a fraction, but more than enough to get a feel for this natural marvel. Entrance includes a life jacket and snorkel, and there are optional extras for your tour like a wetsuit and waterproof camera. The guided tour is 90 minutes long, but will pass by in a flash as you get in-depth information about the cave's wonderful concretions, the many bats that live among the stalactites and the Mayan archaeology and Upper Paleolithic remains discovered down here. 4. Zelha Park Hardly 15 minutes up the 307 is an aquatic theme park and archaeological site run by the Ekaret Group. The attraction is on a rocky inlet, known to the Mayans as the place where the water is born and used as a harbor by the Spanish. Zelha Park is a kind of natural wildlife experience, you can go snorkeling in the lagoon, protected by shark nets, among barracudas, stingrays, parrotfish and tangs, ride a zipline, hike or cycle through the jungle and investigate cave systems. For relaxation people just float on air tubes and laze a hammock or sun lounger. 5. Playa Paraiso Tulum's main public beach, Playa Paraiso begins under the cliffs just south of the ruins. As you go down the terrain levels off and there's a postcard-worthy backdrop of coconut palms and beach bars with hammocks and soft couches. With a wide tranche of powder white sands there's enough room on Playa Paraiso for everyone, while the shallow sea is a clear turquoise hue. You could bring your own drinks and picnic, buy something like an empanada or torta sandwich from one of the many friendly sellers, or amble along to bar to sip agua fresca, a margarita or icy beer and watch the lazy waves. 6. Playa Ruinas After touring Tulum's ruins you can take the stairs down the cliff face to the bathe in the sea. History and bathing are two activities that don't usually belong together, but at Tulum it's perfectly natural, especially when the beach is as inviting as this one. The grey limestone cliffs round off the scene, standing 12 meters high before a strip of white sand where the several mammoth-sized rocks have broken away. Being right next to the ruins there are no facilities at the beach, which means you'll need to pack a picnic and wear your swimsuit underneath your clothes if you intend to stay for more than a few minutes. 7. Gran Cenote Right by the road outside Tulum, Gran Cenote gets a lot of visitors. 
but as the name will tell you, this pair of partially submerged caves is massive, so if you need to find a quiet space you need only swim a little further. Grand Cenote is also one for families and inexperienced swimmers. Wearing the snorkeling gear and life jacket provided all you need to do is dip your head in the transparent water to appreciate its magical rock formations. Look out for the bats flying or nesting overhead, and the turtles paddling beneath you in the water. 8. Cenotes Labnaha Set on Mayan Land Cenotes Labnaha is a non-profit organization that reimburses the local communities. You'll have to don safety gear like a life jacket, swim shoes and a helmet and will be given a guided tour of these sublime but less trafficked water caves. Your guide will be well informed and will explain how the cave's abundant stalactites took shape, identify wildlife and explain the cave's significance to the Mayan community. Book in advance online for a lower rate, and the journey begins with a 3km 4x4 ride through deep jungle. 9. Diving on the Mayan Riviera Diving can be a freshwater or saltwater activity. Thanks to the many cenotes this region may be one of the best in the world for cave diving and there's a lineup of centers offering guided dives, training and all the equipment you need. Cave diving is an activity only for advanced divers, bespoke cenote snorkeling tours are also available, and you'll be venturing to places that have only just been charted. In the sea, Tulum is on the world's second largest barrier reef. You'll explore caves and coral arches and swim a few meters from nurse sharks, rays and sea turtles. If you're a newbie holidaying in Tulum for more than a week you could be potty qualified in a matter of days, but if time is limited most centers offer taster dives after some theory. 10. Casa Cenote 10 km up the coast is one of the less frequented cenotes on the Mayan Riviera. Casa Cenote is open air, and its freshwater springs filter through to the Caribbean Sea, just a few meters away. With a sandy bottom, there's a large lagoon of perfectly clear water to cool off in. You'll pay for entrance and can opt for a guided tour, though this isn't necessary. If you want to snorkel and get a better look at the underwater life and rock formations you can rent equipment. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe.